Neil Young's Old Man. What a great song. If you always wanted to play this song and thought it was too complicated, I'm going to show you an easy way to play this one that sounds great. All open chords and just a couple of strum patterns. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. This is our mascot, Maggie May, and we're excited to show you this great Neil Young tune. Maggie May loves when we do videos. We're going to show you how to play Old Man the easy way, so let's get into it. So this is going to be a strumming version of this amazing song. There's a lot of great, great pick work in this and some palm muting and some hammer-ons. This is going to be kind of the beginner level version that's uh, mainly based around strumming that you can play along with a record too and it's going to sound great and when you play it people are still going to recognize it. Let's go over the chords first. You need to do a D chord. These are all open chords. You have a D chord and we're actually going to uh, start with the intro ironically and that intro is going to be this D chord but we're going to move it up to the fifth fret and we're going to lift up our middle finger. So you have this, and just play from the fourth string down. So this intro uh, on the record is more of a, more along those lines. For this version, I'm gonna show you uh, something you can play along with the record and kind of play this underneath or during that intro. So you're going to have this D shape that we move it to the fifth fret, lift up your middle finger, and we're just going to do down up strums, eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And you have a nice little So one strum pattern up here on the fifth fret with your middle finger lifted up and then go down to that D, the regular D shape and continue that down up pattern. Does that a couple of times and then we get into kind of the uh, chord progression for the verse. So you have to have that D chord in your uh, your vocabulary there. And then we're going to play an F chord. Don't panic. I'm going to show you the what I call the Neil way to play an F chord. I've seen playing it like this a lot. If you can play the full on bar chord for the F, then great, go ahead. If you are not quite there yet, this is what you can do. I am fretting the second fret, I mean, sorry, second string, first fret with my index finger. And then I have this kind of E looking chord in front of it. So index finger, second string, first fret. Middle finger is on the third string, second fret. Your ring finger is on the fifth string, third fret. And your pinky is on the fourth string, third fret. So it's this shape. Now, what is uh, the kneel way? <laughs> you're going to make sure you are muting the high E string and you're muting the low E string. So no E's in this F chord, right? So you can mute those two strings and that way you can just strum away and it sounds great. So you have an F chord if you're playing the traditional bar chord or you can do this. Very similar. Now, how am I muting those strings? I'm letting the fat part of my fingers, of which I have some pretty good fat on the fingers, this index finger, the pad of it is resting against that first string, that high E string. So you don't get the, if you don't rest it against it, you're going to, it's going to ring out. So just let the fat part of your index finger rest against that string. So purposely mute that string with your finger, which is a little counterintuitive, but that's what you're going to do. And then same thing, I'm using my thumb. I'm not pressing down. I'm just resting my thumb on the top of my guitar neck here and the fat part of my thumb, that flesh is sitting against that sixth string so that doesn't ring out either. Please hold. So sorry about that. Let's finish up that F chord after that interruption from Maggie May. We have the F chord, the Neo way. We're going to mute that high E string with our index finger and mute the low E string with our thumb. 
Now the uh, after that intro, make sure you lift up that middle finger. After that little intro part, we get into the chord progression that goes from D to the F to C to the G. And this is going to be a different strum pattern. We're going to go down, 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 up, down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, and. So each of these chords gets one of these strum patterns, and the progression goes D, F, C, G, D, F, C, G. Then he gets into the verse and starts the uh, singing. I am no Neil Young. This is not relax and learn how to sing. I'm going to sing just to get the point across, but I can't even touch the chorus. The high register of his is amazing. So the verse is, uh, Oh man, look at my life. 24 and there's so much more. Live alone in a paradise. Makes me think of two. So he does switch it up a little bit there. We go D, F, C, G. And the second time around he goes D, F, C, back to the F. And then, love lost such a cost. Give me things that won't get lost. Like a coin that won't get tossed. Roll it home to you. And that rolling home to you, that second time around, he goes D to C to F to G. All with those one strum pattern each. One, two, three, four, and down, 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 up. Then we get into the favorite part of the song for myself. I think it's a great part of this tune. It is, really. Yeah, pretty. very, pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. The other two chords you'll need for this little instrumental part that he plays before each chorus. We've already got that D down. You're gonna need an A minor seven. And that's just an A minor chord, but you lift up your ring finger. And an E minor seven. Such a pretty chord. So that's an E minor chord, but you're also going to play uh, the second string on the third fret with your pinky to get that nice high in there. Neil is just the man. Our members love Neil Young, always asking for Neil Young lessons. Got several inside the membership. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a member at Relax on Guitar, Vicky will leave a link in the description below for you, and you can check it out there. So for this instrumental, we're gonna go back to a down up strum. One and two and three and four and same way we played the intro. Uh, the D gets uh, two of those strum patterns. A minor seven, one. And now there's a little bit of a change here. So two strum patterns on the D, one strum pattern on the A minor seven. This E minor seven is gonna share kind of the end of the strum pattern with a quick G. So it's. You can do it that way or an easier way. Is the no chord. So just take up all your fingers. Don't fret any of the strings. Um, it's not, you know, perfect but it does work in this situation and it's just uh to take the place of that g chord if you've got time and you're quick enough to get that g in there then great or this so when you're doing that no chord it's kind of an up strum and just kind of you know, focus here in the middle of the strings, not so much the high and low strings. And those chords and that progression is the same thing for the chorus. 
Be sure and hit that like button if you like this video so far. We would really appreciate it. And again, I can't hit these high notes, but the chorus goes like this. Oh man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you. I need someone to love me the whole day through. I want to look in my eyes and tell that's true. It goes into the instrumental piece with that D, F, C, G, or you can switch it up there and switch back to the, I think it sounds better there, so if you're kind of ending up the chorus with a, I look in my eyes and tell this true. Anytime you can change the strum pattern a little bit, it's just gonna add interest and keep things uh, moving along. So enjoy that Neil Young tune. You can play this great song. And to play another great Neil Young tune, check out this lesson where I did Heart of Gold, another one of his classic favorites. Sounds great on the acoustic guitar. Vicky, Maggie, and I appreciate uh, all the views here and subscriptions. So thanks so much for supporting us on YouTube as always. Thank you very much. And remember, you're never too old to learn. Thank you.